what is up Prince squad I'm back with another video today I got quite a bit of things to do if y'all been watching my videos I know y'all probably saw the live stream about the school order so I got the school order and now I have the shirts and they just came in today as you see over there and um, it's for for the youth bitty ball so I'm gonna be printing those shirts shortly I was kind of helping get the bitty ball and stuff together but it, this has kind of become sort of a headache because I also have another order that I have to get done and they're both due by Friday so what I'm gonna end up doing is um, trying to get as much done today as I can because I don't I have a couple of things I have to do at 8 a.m. so what I'm gonna do is get as much as I can get done today I even may stay late tonight and work on some stuff and if I do stay late then y'all be getting a live stream of some of the action so um, I have a customer that's supposed to be coming shortly but I just realized I forgot the paperwork for these shirts at my house so I have to run home right quick and get them and I'll be right back T-shirt chick. All right, I was uh printing out the design, and I'm gonna let you guys check out the design. It's right here. Let me right there. Um, that's the design right here so what's going on now is that I'm having some type of issue trying to print this out and get it to work I'm printing another one do I have a thing in there yep I'm printing it and I'm gonna show you guys what what I've been having to happen to me so the first one that came through was like this and it had like the dot right here and ink on the side ink coming up the middle I don't know if y'all can see that but like some dots of ink and then this right here uh, ink on the back side so but it, it when it did that when I printed that one it didn't print it it just like pulled it through the printer so then the next thing was this right here it printed this but it's got like these little marks and stuff on here and I don't want to have to deal with taping that up and stuff if it don't come out right so now uh, um, it's, a, it's supposed to be printing another one right now so uh, hopefully this one comes out good and I don't have to worry about uh, worry about anything I'm, it's making me look super black on there I'm really not that black y'all I'm black but I, I'm, I'm more brown but yeah it is kind of and it's doing it again once again uh here it is right here i can't do anything with this or i don't know maybe i can but i'm not gonna do anything with this it's gonna have to print out right or or i'm gonna end up just throwing this printer in the dumpster maybe that's the goal of the printer i don't know if it want to get through in the dumpster then it can it can continue doing what it's doing but if if it want me to keep it then it's gonna have to work I'm trying to adjust this uh exposure and get it right i'm gonna get one more sheet and hopefully it will work out and it don't do that when i print on regular paper because i'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this regular paper and show you how i know i got the regular paper i'm gonna show you what it looks like here here is the regular paper right here it doesn't do that on there and i even um went back and printed another one and it, it doesn't do that on the regular paper i don't know what's going on with it So yeah, I'm going to try to see what the problem is. Yeah, and it's printing real dark the way I need it to. I don't know, I probably could use this one. But I just want it to print out right. Because I got another order I'm going to have to do. Uh, another screen I'm going to have to burn. And I just want it to do right. I don't want to have to improvise on stuff. I'm a professional business. I, don't, I shouldn't have to improvise. But I'd end up buying a new printer if, if it comes down to it. All right, I'm going to send another sheet of paper through here. I'm going to just print it out like it's a film using the same settings I use on film and see what the problem is because I, I don't know. Thank <laughs> you. 
and I'm seeing like right here you can see that it's got some marks on it I don't know I'm gonna try running it through I'm gonna flip that sheet over and print it again and see if I can go ahead and get that off so I can go ahead and get this printed I don't know may, that may be good enough I'm gonna see Alright, it didn't get much on here. If y'all can see right there, it's like a little faint line. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this film in here and try one more time. It still has like the yellow, the yellow marks on it. And this one seemed like it didn't print as dark as the others. So what I'm about to do is, uh, let me fix, fix this tripod. What I'm about to do is see which one of them printed out the best and just try to use that one. Cause I need to go ahead and get started on this, so. Oh, no, I think if I run it through a few more times, it will be better. It will do better. But, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and try this one. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try this one. And we're gonna go with this one. Hopefully it will do good with the screen and everything. And I won't have to uh, reprint another one. So I'm about to go in the dark room. And while that screen is burning, I'm gonna come around here and go ahead and get my shirts in order right here. So right here is my boxes of shirts. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first take like all the shirts that I have in here because some of them have been in here for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and use these shirts first so that I can have fresh ones on the you know on display. So um, that's what I'm gonna do now.
I got the fan on and it probably won't take but maybe about 10-15 minutes for that screen to dry if that but I usually check back around that time <laughs> Okay, that's the ones for my that's that's all the shirts for my first order plus this one small one that they brought I kind of hate when they do that they they want that shirt for a smaller kid they didn't want to take the extra small shirt so that I could screen print it but I, I kind of hate doing that but I just uh, charge them for it. you know it'll be $15 uh, because all I'm doing is printing two prints on it, so it'll be $15 just for the print when they could have saved a little bit because the rest of it would be with the group order. So, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and off camera get the rest of these shirts ready because it'll just take up extra time. And you guys know how to get shirts ready. Well, I guess in case you don't, right here, you can see right here where they have uh, this is my order form and. Let me, I'm, I'm going to kind of show you guys this because some of you may not know, but right here, this is my, my order form. Okay, so all of their shirts are right here. Okay, you always have them call and they call to add two shirts. So I usually put them up here and then I use different color inks to go through. So these were the shirts I had in stock already. So I put check marks on this side. Okay, and then right here, I put how many I have on the side right here and they changed that it was eight but I had these this is what I have in stock okay so they needed ten all together so right here in parentheses I usually write the number of shirts that I need so um, that's this right here and they had different shirts in their order so like right here these are just the black t-shirts and these are the black baseball style t-shirts so you know I have the number for that and I'll show you guys those shirts I'll show you guys those baseball shirts also and right here this is the design order and here yeah, I, I usually write their number down here but because she's texted me a thousand times I still have that and this is the form that I give them and they write it out and I just make a copy of it that way they know what what they uh what their group has like the people who have paid and everything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this off screen and then i'm gonna check back in with y'all okay these are the baseball shirts that was for the other order right here they wanted usually people want the sleeves different color and the inside white but they wanted them to be black because the, their other shirts are black and this is for that small order i have to do i have an order of like about 30 shirts maybe 30 something shirts i'll have to go back and count because they added a few and then i also have the order for um like 200 shirts for the bitty ball league um i have finished unboxing i mean unboxing organizing the shirts like this is the first box and i put it in that amazon box to keep them from having three boxes and this box right here and um the, the shirts that's in this box i kind of separated them to where these are going to have the red ink and all of the ones in here are going to have the white ink i'm gonna get my oldest son to help me um do the shirts and what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna print all the fronts hopefully i'm gonna go ahead and um tape up the screen and try to go ahead and do the test print and everything so they went to mcdonald's to grab something to eat so by the time they get back and eat then we can go ahead and get started so that's what I'm about to do.
check it out. Make sure it's dry. But here's the print. Here's the print right here. This is the print right here. So it came out good. So I can go ahead and get started printing. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring, start bringing the shirts around here so I can get to printing. And then actually before I do that, I'm gonna send these through the dryer, this through the dryer so I can try to get the, uh, get the setting right and make sure I have it on the right temperature. Last black one. I'm about to have to switch the ink shortly. I got to switch the ink color, but I got to take my kids home because it's, it's 7 o'clock. So I'm going to take them home and then I'm going to come back and finish the rest of it. There's all the red ones. You got the black ones over here. He's still working on that stack. You got the blue ones over here. And in this box, we have white and gray.
All right, I'm on the live stream now. So y'all can be like, what's up to y'all self on the live stream. And this is all the shirts that I printed today for, for the bitty ball, bitty ball team. And all right, I have finished all of the shirts today, or at least what I'm going to do with the shirts today. Okay, so I printed all of the fronts of the shirts, and tomorrow I am going to put the numbers on the back of the of the uh, gray shirts and the white shirts over there. But um, I don't have all the vinyl. I'm waiting for it to come in so I can finish up the other shirts. So I'm going to let you guys check out everything that I printed today. So this is this is like 200 shirts. The red shirts right here, the gray shirts, then I have the blue shirts, the black shirts, and the white shirts. So yeah, that is, that's pretty much it for today. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're interested in any of the products or equipment that I use in my videos, I also have links for that in the description box also. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you in the next video. Print Squad out.